We all know that Africa is home to 60% of the world's renewable energy resources. 30% of the world's mineral resources. 65% of the world's arable, uncultivated agricultural land. And by 2050, will be home to the largest market of close to two and a half billion people who will be living in this continent. If there is any serious business person or investor or entrepreneur that is thinking about the future and they are not thinking about Kenya, Ghana, and Africa, then there is something wrong with their future. My visit to Ghana is a clear demonstration that this is where the future of prosperity, of investment, of entrepreneurship, of business is. And I am greatly inspired listening to the business people in this room beginning to understand the huge opportunity, the tremendous potential that exists in our continent. Investors, and I keep telling my countrymen in Kenya, investors don't necessarily have to be white, foreign. Sometimes they are your brother and sister next door. And it is important for you as business people to begin to open up your mind to the opportunities that exist within our borders. It is not possible to be prosperous when your neighbor is not. It's difficult. The prosperity of Ghana is good for Kenya and vice versa because that's how we can grow together. We as policymakers are expanding the horizon of opportunities for our business people because our target is on how to use the raw materials that we have to grow industry, expand our value addition mechanisms, deepen agro uh, processing, expand opportunities for job creation, leverage on development of skills, work relentlessly on technology transfer, and specifically work on market diversification and integration. It is important for business people to look at what are the opportunities. And I'm very happy listening to captains of industry speaking here from both the Chambers of Commerce in Kenya and, the, and Ghana, the Association of Manufacturers in Ghana and, and in Kenya, speak about the interaction. This morning, we just concluded the elevation of our relations at the country level from a joint commission to a binational commission that will give us more latitude and leverage to be, to be able to consolidate 
our relationship around the things that are mutually beneficial between Ghana and Kenya, East Africa and West Africa. We want our business people, entrepreneurs and investors from our continent to leverage on the opportunities that exist as we build a single African market, as we reform the African Union so that it becomes a fit for purpose organization, as we support the efforts being made by President Nana Kufuado in reorganizing Africa's financial institutions from the Africa Central Bank to the Pan-African Insurance Facility, to the, um, uh, to the Africa Investment uh, Bank, and the Africa facilities that would help us assist African institutions to grow, that each and every business person looks at the horizon beyond Ghana, beyond Kenya, into the African uh, market. My mission here from Kenya has been to make sure that no opportunity is lost, no opportunity is missed by both Kenyan and Ghanaian business people and entrepreneurs to move our continent forward, create opportunities for employment, enhance our manufacturing capacity, and move our nations to the next level. I'm very proud that we will be signing instruments here today that will provide greater impetus and framework for our two business communities working together. Thank you very much.